So I want to show you a quick method for saving hours of work in 3D modeling. I'm going to show how this works and then explain why it's so important. So I've selected this mesh. I want to convert it to using all quads so that we can run a subdivision surface modifier on it. If I do that right now, we can see there's all kinds of problems and artifacts which might look cool if I'm trying to make this look like a rock, but I want this to be smooth. So I'm going to select this. I've set, I'm gonna set the quad count to 200 and click this button and blam, we have perfect all quad topology instantly. So this is, this is really pretty cool. If you're interested in getting this out on, there will be a link in the description. So be sure to check that out. So why is this so important? Well, all quad topology is really pretty critical if we want to use the subdivision surface modifier because it cuts everything into quads. And so if we, if we actually back up here, if we look closely, we can see that some of these polygons are not made with four sides. Let's say I create a shape like this ring here by taking these two shapes or this, this fused together shape. Now I'm going to Instead of joining two shapes together, I'm going to subtract these shapes from this first shape and apply that and hide these. And there we go. We have another shape like we started with, but we have all these polygons that are not all quads on the edges, especially. And that is just, it really throws off the subdivision surface modifier because it tries to break everything into four quads. It really doesn't have any other way of doing this. And then uh, it, it breaks everything into four quads and then it smooths everything out. Well, it can't do that if the polygons are not four sided. So if we remesh this, then we can use a subdivision surface modifier and we can use smooth shading and there we go. We instantly get a shape that looks good, everything is smooth, and we're already done with our modeling. And normally, if we're not using this add-on, we would have to somehow figure out how to create that shape manually, either by sticking a new mesh on top of the existing mesh or moving points around one at a time. Um, that's, I mean, we could, we wouldn't want to do that, but that might be one option. So there would be a whole lot of work involved in just making the shape use all quads rather than using other types of polygons. So having this resource saves a boatload of time and is really pretty awesome. Um, like I said, there will be a link in the description. It's a paid add-on. I believe it's currently $109 for Blender, but I think it's worth every penny. I've been waiting to buy it, but been putting it off for the longest time and I bought it recently and it's, it's pretty amazing. So be sure to check that out. And also I hope to put out some more videos about modeling, especially with this tool. So be sure to stay tuned. If you like this video, please subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date.